Let me show you how to create really tasty looking food photos. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer. Let's get started. So this is our starting picture in Affinity Photo. And as you can see, it doesn't look very appealing. Now, I want to point out at the start of this tutorial, this is not about getting the correct colors, because for this, you want to use a color card. This is about how to make that photo look Mwah. as tasty and nice as possible. First of all, look at the photo and analyze what you see. The white balance is a little bit off. This bluish tone looks a little bit sickly. That is not great. So let's start out by creating an adjustment down here for white balance. This is the easiest tool to do that. And then spot something in here that is either white or a medium gray. So I would say the yogurt over here is probably white. So we are going to click here on picker and then simply click once and you can see this already has adjusted the image in a rather nice way. Of course, that is not enough for us because we are gourmets. We want to have something that really invites our taste. So let's next go to the adjustments and create a curve adjustment for this. And of course, we're going to switch over to lab mode because this gives us very nice tools to get very quick and good results with this. So I want to stay here in master because you can see when I click on that, I have all these kind of different modes here. I'm clicking here in the middle and wiggle this curve around a little bit while I look at the photo to see what is changing. After I've done this, I will right click to delete this point. And now here is a little trick that you can use. I want to have this a little bit warmer, but over here you can see we have some blue values here in the shadows. I want to have those cooler, which also will give me a little bit of color separation. So that's nice. And we also have a picker in here. So let's click on that picker, then click on the bread and move the mouse upwards while of course we hold the left mouse button. You can see this has made our bread warmer, but also the rest. Now over here, we have some dark areas that I want to have cooler. So I click in that area and I will pull that down. And by doing that, you can see that we get a very nice color separation and everything looks a lot more tasty. And of course, now that I've defined these two points, I can go into my curve and still readjust that. So maybe click on this and bring this a bit more down. Let's look with our eyes what's going to happen here and then maybe push this up even more. Let's have a look at the before and the after. That's already very nice. Now here is another thing we want to do. Let's open up our curve again. And this time we are going to go to the B opponent and this will give us some additional help. Click here in these upper parts here and move them a little bit up and you can see let's add some very nice warmth to our image. And then again, the darker colors, we want to have them a little bit cooler. So let's pull this down a little bit and you can see again, this is helping us very nicely to get a really interesting look in our image. You can also play around with the A opponent. This is actually doing the tint. I don't think we have much tint, but we can still push this up here, maybe a tiny bit, and then maybe go over here and let's see. That looks actually good. You can see now the table has a more natural looking gray and it's very, very tiny adjustment. Now here is something that is important for our eyes and for our tension. I will create a second curve adjustment. Click down here in adjustments, curve, and then again, set this to lap. And I will now go to the lightness curve. The reason why I have a second curve adjustment is because now I want to use a mask with it, but I don't want to mask out my color adjustments. I will only mask out the brightness adjustment. So look here at the background, not the food, and then click here in the middle and move this down until you feel like the background is dark enough. It still looks natural, but it is darker than before. So I think this looks pretty okay. And after we've done this, we can close the curve, go over to our brush. And now you can see here, I'm switching to the color black because I want to hide these effects in my foot. And then of course, I'm using a nice brush here. Let's go with the basic brushes. 
128 might be a little bit too small. So hold control and alt on your keyboard, move your mouse to the right while you also hold the left mouse button and then also downwards to give you more hardness or you can adjust it up here where you have the size and the hardness. Now that we've done this, you can see when I move my mouse in here, it gets a little bit brighter. So let's click and paint inside of here in the bowl and you can see this gets the original brightness back. Now I can also do this over here a little bit, maybe down here, maybe over here on that food. And now if I turn my curve on and off, you can see that the background is getting a little bit darker but our food in the foreground stays bright and this gives our attention center to that area. Now, a last thing that I want to do here is that I will go and create an HSL adjustment. And look at that. This is a really nice little trick. Look at the green values here that we have here in this bread spread and over here. So let's click here on that green point, use the picker, Click again inside of our bowl so we have the exact value. And now I can wiggle this a little bit around and see what kind of adjustment I get from that. So let's see a little bit over here. And then let's see with the brightness. Let's see with the saturation. There we go. Let's push the saturation a little bit. And then when I turn this on and off, you can see now the green is a little bit nicer and the color is a little bit more intense even over here on our salad leaves. So that's it for today. Let me know what is your favorite food to photograph. See you soon, maybe tomorrow in my live stream. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.